Welcome to the Control 2018 at the booth of Quality Engineering. I say hello to Holger Laubenthal. He is CEO and Dr. Oliver Burke. He is Senior City Product Manager of GE Sensing Inspection Technology GmbH. Good to be here. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Industry 4.0 demands also for advanced connected big data NDT solutions. What are the big trends for digital inspection and your company's keys, key innovations? For example, for high definition remote visual video ball scopes, automated robotic inspection and predictive corrosion management. Great. Look, I, there's no doubt in my mind that we're at, a, at, a, at an inflection point, if you want, for the industry and in terms of how inspection technologies can help drive really game-changing productivity uh, for industries, whether you're in automotive, aviation, consumer electronics, additive, oil and gas, and others. And it's really driven by a few things. I'd say firstly is, is the core technologies in inspection uh, technologies continue to evolve at a rapid pace. I think secondly, connected devices, right, and the ability to, to read data off uh, the technologies at a more rapid pace, move it on uh, to analytics, uh, which is the third point really, whether it's on-premise analytics or cloud-based analytics, and then lastly, new technologies such as additive coming into play. Uh, specifically in terms of digital inspection, what we hear a lot from customers is that they want to use and access their data and analytics across time and across process and systems, right? And so to do that, um, to do that, you really have to break down data silos, right? There's no use in collecting isolated data points on one asset and another asset or a station in your production line, another station. But really the power is in combining the data across assets and across production lines. And that's what digital inspection and the digital inspection platform that we're building allows customers to do. The technology specifically you mentioned, uh, remote visual inspection, we have a new product launch coming up there, uh, which would truly differentiate uh, the product and the market in terms of high definition and 3D technologies, coupled with our industry leading uh, workflow and data analytics on top of that. Uh, a lot of application, particularly in aviation industries and others. Uh, predictive corrosion monitoring is, is an oil and gas and, and petrochemical application. Uh, to really drive this hundreds of billions of dollars of costs associated with with, uh, with the corrosion. And so this solution is installed sensors that can take data uh, on corrosion trends at any time and, and again through analytics uh, provide forecasting and, and predictive modeling uh, so that at any time, anywhere, one can, one can see, uh, let's say, a fleet or a, a, a park of refineries in terms of corrosion trends. Uh, so massive uh, cost and productivity uh, change. Then the robotics is, is, is coming everywhere, right? If you think about, again, these industries um, with, with, with um, hazardous environments, oil and gas, energy, and we have products developed where we can uh, combine robotics with uh, ultrasound and visual inspection, for example, to go into these confined spaces and, again, uh, significantly reduce cost uh, for, for asset owners. GE Inspection Technologies is also a global leader in industrial computer tomography for 3D metrology and inspection. Mm -hmm. Can you please describe the strategic opportunities for industries like aerospace, automotive or additive manufacturing facilitated by using advanced CT? Sure. So, so this is an area I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited about and you know, my colleague Oliver here will talk about this in a little more detail in a second. Um, because it's really at the core of what we're doing, as we call it, our industrial strategy in partnering with customers from the space you just mentioned. Um, it, it, and it's based on our differentiated capability in terms of detection. Uh, it's based on, uh, on, on speed of, of, uh, of, of processes. It's based on visualization techniques and analytics. And, uh, and we are now at a point where we combine these so that we can move from a lab environment to at-line and in-line uh, environments. Uh, we've got use cases uh, where, where we have in-line inspection with aviation customers, where we have reduced tech times by 80%, so we're as fast, if not faster, than their production lines. We've got use cases in automotive industries uh, where we've essentially reduced scrap by 20 to 25 percent in, in casting processes. So very, very meaningful, game-changing applications across, like you're saying, consumer electronics, additive, automotive, and many others. Uh, we're investing heavily into this, both in terms of um, 
uh, people engineering, also commercial resources, application engineers in CT labs globally, uh, obviously in Germany, but also increasingly in, 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 uh, in Asia, Korea, Japan, China, and in the US. It's a space we really like, and we want to partner heavily with our customers. On the GE Inspection Technology booth, you're featuring fully automated, high throughput CT inspection solutions. Which are the key innovations to really allow industrial CT to move from the quality labs to the production floor? So, um, like Holger mentioned, this trend um, started uh, a couple years ago, like five years ago, we saw the first demand from our customers in aviation initially to uh, allow 100% inspection. And in order to do so, you need to accelerate the whole process chain. It starts with the core part of an X-ray CT system. And the core part is the X-ray source, the core part is the detection system. And as G Inspection Technology, part of the bigger GE um, organization, um, we have access to a lot of technologies in the uh, organization to, to be able to get to a point where we can actually um, come into the tech time of, of the manufacturing process. So we, uh, um, we invested a lot in, uh, in more powerful X-ray sources to increase the output of the source, which actually gives the signal to, enough signal to penetrate the part. And on the other side of the part, you have the X-ray detector. Like you know, maybe from from a hospital or um, from a doctor's office, when you uh, when you look at your X-ray of your chest, um, you, we are now able to create very effectively digital X-rays and combine these X-ray shots images into a three-dimensional representation of the, of, of a part very quickly. We can, in the past, in labs, it was okay to scan a part in 30 minutes, maybe 60 minutes even. In the manufacturing, that's not okay. Yes, you need to be in a minute, sometimes even less than a minute, minute tech time. And the new, improved hard, uh, hardware components like the X-ray source, the detector, allow the foundation to get there. So we are now quick enough and get sufficient data quality to get there. To This is the foundation. Now, now you need to get the part into the X-ray imaging system, which is more straightforward, but still needs to be done, like part handling, robotics, that needs to be done. We combine now our core technology on the hardware X-ray source detector with this handling, so we have the part inside. Now, you we creating the data set is the next story. So from the 2D to the 3D data sets, we accelerated a lot the way to come to the 3D data sets, also in the order of magnitude of seconds now, and the combination of all of that now allow us to get into the required tech time. The last piece of that, and Holger mentioned already, now you get it every minute, for instance, the complex 3D data set. And human operators are very capable of, of deciding a part is good or bad, but do this every minute, that's the next challenge. So now we are looking into methods like artificial intelligence to get this done by a computer and using sophisticated machine learning methods to actually improve that and be able to fully automate the inspection process. Great, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.